Setting goals that actually get accomplished is something that's pretty hard to do. And many times when we do try to set goals, we don't really have any rhyme or reason how we're setting our goals or how we're gonna achieve them. I know I'm guilty of it myself where I write things down or I think of stuff that I wanna get done and then I just kind of fumble around until I do it. Recently, I found out about the SMART goal setting method created by a man named George T. Doran. In November of 1981, Doran published an article in Management Review titled, There's a Smart Way to Write Management's Goals and Objectives. And in this article, he outlined the principles of the SMART goal setting method. If you're looking to get your life back on track and start making progress towards your long-term goals, setting SMART goals is a great place to start. The SMART method is still widely used today by many businesses. It's used in healthcare, in education, many individuals and organizations use it as well and in this video I'm going to tell you how you can apply the smart method to your goals in order for you to be able to accomplish the things that you set out to do if you haven't figured it out by now smart is an acronym and it stands for specific measurable achievable relevant and time bound let's get into each step of the smart method right now starting with specific when setting a goal you want to make sure that it is as specific and clear as possible this makes sure that you have a clear understanding of what needs to be achieved and helps you stay focused on your goal when trying to set a specific goal, make sure to ask yourself the three following questions. One, what is it that I want to accomplish? Two, why is this goal important to me? Three, how will I accomplish this goal? For example, instead of setting a vague goal like I want to improve my health and get fit, you should set a specific goal like I want to lose 20 pounds in the next six months by exercising 30 minutes a day and eating a healthy diet. That's extremely specific and clearly lays out what you need to do in order to accomplish your goal. The next step in the SMART method is gonna be measurable. A measurable goal allows you to track your progress and lets you know how close you are to achieving it. When setting a goal and trying to make it measurable, make sure that you ask yourself these two following questions. How will I measure my progress and how will I know when I've achieved my goal? For example, instead of saying I wanna improve my sales, set a goal that is measurable like I want to increase my sales by 20% next quarter. Or with the example before, you're trying to lose 20 pounds in the next six months. The next step in the SMART method is achievable. An achievable goal is realistic within your reach, giving your resources and constraints. To set an achievable goal, ask yourself the following questions. Is this goal realistic given my current situation? The next question you wanna ask yourself when you're making a goal achievable is do I have the resources and support in order to achieve this goal? For example, if you're currently working a full-time job and you have small children at home, a goal of starting your own business might not be achievable at this point. But maybe setting the goal of starting a side hustle on your free time might be a better goal to set at that time because the fact that you have a full-time job and children might not let you go all in on starting your own business at that current moment. The next step in the SMART method is you wanna make it relevant. A relevant goal is aligned with your values, interests, and long-term goals. This helps ensure that you're working towards something that is meaningful and important to you. In order to set relevant goals, ask yourself these next two following questions. One, why is this important to me? Two, does this align with my values and long-term goals? The last step of the SMART goal setting method is making sure that it is time bound. A time bound goal has a specific deadline which will help you stay focused and motivated. This also helps you track your progress to let you know how close you are to achieving your goal. And it helps with it being measurable as well. In order to make a goal time bound, you really only have to ask yourself one question. When do I wanna achieve this goal? There you have it, that's the SMART goal setting method. You can start using this to help you set clear achievable goals to help you get your life back on track and start making progress towards your long-term goals. Remember, it's important for your goals to be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. When you are setting them, this will help you break them down into smaller, more manageable tasks that you can accomplish. With that and a little bit of effort and determination, you can start achieving the bigger goals that you have and living the life that you want. With all that said, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button and I'll see you next time.